Oh, hey Virgo, how are you doing? Welcome into the Gifted Hermit. If you're new to the channel, what's up? My name's Leela. I reside in London, UK. And if you'd like to, in the comment section below, let me know where you reside. I'm always intrigued to know where my viewers are from. I'm also a Virgo. Let me know a little bit about yourself if you'd like to in the comment section below. I'm going to do a Celtic cross. If you're not here for your energy and you want to go straight into the love reading, although I do suggest you stick around for this. You can go and check out the other video that will be uploaded shortly for love. So Celtic Cross, you had the Eight of Cups with the You Now, Heart of the Matter, Virgo. The Nine of Pentacles for the Challenge of Blockage, Conscious Goal got the Seven of Wands. And that's where I have invited you to join me. What is the subconscious unknown influence for Virgo? What is the subconscious unknown influence what's going on underneath for virgo the sun card and yeah we're going to talk about it what's the past influence past influence for virgo too many cards what's the past influence for virgo please guide us five of wands in the past energy that's what we like to see. <laughs> what is the talent, the inner resources? Nice. Emperor card. Just get it, Virgo. You know this shit. How others see you. How do others see Virgo? How do others view Virgo? The Page of Swords. Uh, hopes and fears. For Virgo, what is Virgo's hopes or fears? Seven of Pentacles and the outcome. What is the outcome for Virgo? Yes, <laughs> I say yes, but uh, I shan't show you, darling, until the end. We've got to keep the mystery. Virgos were good at that, right? <laughs> yes, um. Seven of Cups here on the bottom of the deck and the Knight of Pentacles. Maybe there's someone or there was someone that made you, left you, leaves you feeling a bit confused. Maybe. So we're going to get into this reading. Okay. Eight of Cups for you now, the heart of the matter, Virgo. This is a, a big emphasis of letting go. So you could be letting go of somebody uh, or just a way of thinking, an emotional situation. You know, Eight of Cups talks about abandonment. So maybe you're letting go of abandonment issues. Maybe you're releasing or you need to, or you're actively doing it, releasing what no longer serves you. This is about a time to move any energy that may be stuck right now. It's about walking away. This is about leaving your old reality to pursue a new one, okay? And some people may be disappointed, but not everyone can continue on. Some people need to say goodbye to, you know, and step into this new, this new era, your new reality. Mm -hmm. Now, Nine of Pentacles for the challenge. And I think that's a lot of you, and that is to remain positive. Because, you know, us Virgos, sometimes we can get in our head. I feel like uh, the challenge right now for you guys is to achieve the stuff that you need to achieve. A lot of you got some goals and, 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 and pursuing them and getting them off the ground. A lot of you, there's a challenge here of trying to remain contented, remain in that positive milestone. Like you see that this Nine of Pentacles, you guys are finding it a challenge to actually realize how far you've come the milestones that you've made you know you should be very proud of yourself Virgo and I'm not saying that's patron in a patronizing way okay you should be satisfied with how far you've come and I know you want to do more okay keeping the inner peace may be a challenge for you right now you want it you embrace peace you're about peace Never forget the personal achievements that you have made because you've made a lot of achievements recently, 
a lot of you now consciously we have the seven of wands so this is about maybe protecting yourself consciously you're very protective um this is about feeling vulnerable okay so consciously consciously maybe you feel vulnerable because of your emotions walking away from an old reality to pursue a new one okay maybe you're feeling quite over protective or feeling vulnerable because of this nine of pentacles you know because i feel like you've got a lot going for yourself Virgo. you consciously you've got a lot of creative ideas and this is a sign to continue on this is a sign to Remind yourself that I know you want to remain ahead, five steps ahead. I know you do. But you're doing all right, is, is, is the point I'm trying to make. So, subconsciously, the sun card here. Now, I feel like subconsciously for some of you, there's some sort of self-doubt. Whether it's with yourself or a person. I don't know what's up with this flipping music. Like, I'm trying to sort out my music. If anyone can help me try and retrieve that song of mine. But, um, yeah, I cannot cope with that music that I was playing in the background. I feel like subconsciously, some of you may have a lack of confidence. And that hits home for me. Maybe a negative mindset. Maybe self-doubt kicks in at times. We're only flipping human at the end of the day. You need to remain happy, positive. Because there's so much to be happy for. Ooh, that's nice. I like this one. Um, this is about finding inspiration, Virgo. Right. Remaining positive, choosing love, because you've had enough of bullshit in your time. You know what you want. You know what you want. Drama, past shit, conflict, bad energy, low vibrations, having the wrong people around you, whispering, putting their two pence, shit that you don't need. People from the past that made you doubt yourself. Made you think that you wasn't good enough and you know you're good enough. Quite wholeheartedly. Your talent, your inner resources is to remain powerful. Remain powerful in your own right. You are in control. You're in control of your life. You got this, you're focused. You're always on the go. You're always building. You see, the emperor could have been the empress. Because I know I have a lot of women that come in. But it's that divine, it's that alpha you know, you've got that as your inner resource, your inner talent. Not everybody can do that after all the bullshit they've been through. All the people that put them down, try to stab them in the back or, you know, want to see you down, don't want to see you doing good. You're a natural leader for some of you guys, naturally. You are, you are powerful in your own right. This man's got the whole flipping forest behind him. He's got the bear, the fox, the badger. They, he, got, he got the deer or whatever you call that in the background. They're all on his side. They all listen to him. You're able to get what you want just like that. You can be strategic. You can promote your flipping self. Not everybody can do that. Some people wait for the the yes. You can give yourself the yes. Now, how others see you at this time? We have the page of swords. Now, maybe people are seeing you to be quite restless, curious. Maybe people see you as someone that is on an intellectual pursuit. Highly intelligent always wanting to learn new things, always on the on the thirst for information. A student, an apprenticeship, wanting to learn more, still got that hunger. Virgo still got the hunger, Virgo still going. Virgo don't quit. Come on, you don't know that about Virgos already. If we don't quit, we're not quitters. 
okay so hopes hopes or fears you hope to reflect on your journey and how far it is that you've come you hope to keep going because this is a sign to keep going for those of you that want to give up and just can't be asked and what's the point slow vibrations you know that's not the energy that we fix on you hope to see results all the hard work fruits of your labor this is lovely now fear wise you don't want to give up you don't want to be impatient and act on impulse you don't want to be frustrated or act out in a frustrating way you want to follow through what you started you know and you're going to see rewards you're going to see benefits and i'll tell you why because the outcome is the ten of cups the ten of cups baby whether you want to believe it or not whether you want to claim it i can't force you to claim this video but yeah this is about <sighs> this is what this is about harmony for life relationships soulmates family this is about expanding growing this is about feeling whole the state of one this is about allowing your heart to expand and letting your heart's energy pour into all your connections how do you feel about yourself virgo Joy comes from the inside out. Remember that. It all starts within. Ten of cups as the outcome. It don't get no better. I know what you've been through. I know the life that you've lived. And I don't say that in a patronising way. Again, but if you're new to the channel, then I know that that comment probably hit home a lot more. My usual subs, you guys know how I talk. And, and, and we are the, f the first, the first type of zodiac sign that you can depend on. We always gonna be there for you. Virgos is gonna be there for you. You could have knocked us down, knocked us down. We're still gonna lift you up. Cause we ain't got it in us to be that ugly person. Cause we know what it feels like to be treated that way. Maybe I'm just rambling on, but folks, that's what I have for your Celtic Cross. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, okay? Show love, as you always do. You can book me for a personal reading and catch me for live tarot. Follow me on socials. You know how it is. Be kind to others, but most importantly, be kind to you, Virgo, and I will catch you on the rebound. Take care.